In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your desktop look clean and professional in just a few simple steps. You will learn how to customize your desktop background, choose a brand new custom cursor, and add finishing touches to give your desktop that polished look. Hopefully, your desktop will go from this boring look to something like this in just a few minutes. And with all that out of the way, get subscribed, leave a like down below, and let's get started. First, let's customize our wallpaper. Let's go to rocksdynaster.com website, which is the website for lively wallpaper. And on this website, scroll down till you see the installer options. Here you can get the lively wallpaper app from Microsoft Store, or you can install it from the installer. Here I will go with the installer option. And here at the top right, you can already see that I have the exe file and in the taskbar, I already have the installer running. Now in the installer, let's click OK on the the English language. Click next here. I accept the agreement. Click next. Here you can pick whichever folder you like to install the lively wallpaper. I will just leave this path to default. And now let's click next. Here I will uncheck create a desktop shortcut and I will leave checked start with Windows. Now let's click next and install the lively wallpaper app. After the installation, I will leave checked launch lively wallpaper and click finished. Here in the lively wallpaper, let's pick a simple wallpaper, which is called rain. Here I will select it and this should apply the wallpaper on the desktop. And this is how it looks at defaults. Now, if you want, you can open up lively wallpaper app once again click on three dots and then you can click customize here. Here you have a few parameters like intensity, speed, brightness, and so and so on. I will only change the brightness slider to the max. And now I will scroll down and select an image. Here we can pick from a few presets. For example, this Confier Dawn Daylight Evergreen. You can select this one and you can easily see that the background wallpaper changed. But for this tutorial, I will go with the custom image. So here's the image which I chose on unsplash.com, which I will also put a link in video description down below. On the top right, click on download free button and this should start the download of the JPEG file. Now let's open the lively wallpaper once again, click on the three dots on the rain wallpaper, click customize, and then on the image, you can click this icon to select a custom image for your wallpaper. Now I will select downloads folder and select this image, which I got from Unsplash. Click open here, and then you can close this window and also close the lively wallpaper. And this is pretty much it for the lively wallpaper app for the tutorial. I think that the current wallpaper looks absolutely slick. And now let's customize the Windows 11 cursor. Let's open up this website, which is also linked in video description down below. And for this tutorial, I chose Windows 11 cursors concept version two from Jepri Creations. So this pack is completely free. Or if you want to use the paid version, which is concept HD from the same developer, I believe it is two euros for this paid version. And I think it's totally worth it. So for this tutorial, I will go with the free version you can see here. Now let's click on this green download arrow to get the zip file of the cursor pack. Once you have the zip file, let's open it in the file explorer downloads folder by clicking this folder icon here inside the file explorer let's right click on the zip file click extract all here and then extract once again and here in the extracted folder you can pick from the light version or dark version of the cursor here i will go with the dark one so let's open up the dark folder here i will go to the cursor folder and let's right click on the install file and then click install here and click open, click yes on the admin prompt and this should install the cursor. And now you can also see that one window popped up, in this case mouse pointers. The scheme is currently set on none, but here you need to pick the version you installed, in this case cursors dark. Let's click on this one, click apply click yes here and then okay. And you can already see this brand new cursor 
that I have here. And now let's customize the Windows 11 taskbar. Let's open up the web browser and let's go to the github.com of the rounded taskbar program. And here, let's go to the releases tab here on the GitHub page and let's download the latest current release, which is 3.1. Let's click on the zip file on the GitHub page, which is also linked in video description down below, by the way. And now let's click on this folder icon on the top right to get into the file explorer downloads folder. Let's right click on the rounded taskbar zip file. Let's click on the extract all and then once again extract. Meanwhile, this is extracting. Let's create a custom folder inside the local disk C directory. So here I will create here new click on the folder and I will call it tweaks. And now let's go to the extracted folder of the rounded taskbar here in the downloads folder. Let's right click on the folder and here select the scissors to cut this folder. And now let's go to this PC, local disk C and tweaks folder. And now let's paste it inside here. And now we have rounded taskbar inside this directory. Now let's open up the rounded taskbar folder here you need to search for the rounded taskbar exa file or if you don't see the ending of the files, you can go here to the view, you can click here show and then file name extensions. You need to enable this option and now you can see that rounded taskbar here it says .exa file. So let's open it and now you can already see a few changes being made to the taskbar when opening the rounded taskbar. Here we have the welcome screen, here I will click OK. And now here I will change a few of the options. Margin, I will select the margin and set it to 2. And let's say the cordon radius to something like 20. You can click here apply and you can already see how the taskbar has this rounded shape. If you click on advanced here, you can select dynamic mode. Here I will uncheck show system tray, but I will check show system tray on hover. I will also enable fill taskbar when maximized as well and also fill taskbar on alt plus tab. With all these options being inserted, let's click apply here. And now you can see this glitch with the rounded taskbar. To solve it, you can just right click on the taskbar and select taskbar settings. You can then scroll down and select here taskbar behaviors. Under the taskbar alignment, select it to the left and then you can select once again to the center and this should fix the issue with the rounded taskbar and it should look normally right now. I almost forgot to tell you, but if you hover on the system tray on the bottom right corner of your screen, you can select here this arrow and then right click on the rounded taskbar. Here you will need to enable run at startup option because when you start up the computer, by default the taskbar should be maximum but when the rounded taskbar is running at the startup, it will always look something like this dock at the bottom. Now, before installing any of the RainMeter skins, I would assume that you have RainMeter installed because the installation is pretty straightforward. And now let's open up the web browser and install the first RainMeter skin, which is called MII Power. Here on this website, let's scroll down and click on this download button. On the top right, let's click on this miipower.rm skin file to install this skin. And now let's hover on the system tray. Let's open the RainMeter here. Let's go to the Mi Power folder. Here, select the Power folder. And here I will go with the black version and double left click on this b.ini file. Let's double left click. And here you can already see the widget. And if you click, for example, on this button, the computer will go to sleep. You can shut down it or even restart your computer with this widget. Let's go to the web browser and let's install the second widget, which is called Mont Rain Meter Theme. Now here I will select 24 hour clock, the text color I will change to, to dark. So here you can select here the black color, click OK. Let's close the settings. Now you can right click on the widget you do not want to use here. In this case, this media player, the recycle bin, and we are pretty much left with this date and the clock widget on our screen. Here I will right click on the widget and then select edit the skin. And down below, I will delete meter date option. 
Here I will also delete meter 12 hour clock as well as meter 24 hour clock. And we are just left here with meter day. Here at the top, we can change the scale of the widget. Here I will go with 2.00. And then on your keyboard, you can select Control plus S to save the file, or you can go here on the top left to select the file, and then you can select here, save. Now you can close the notepad, and the only thing left to do is to right click on the widget and then refresh skin and you can already see the bigger widget on our desktop. So I will put it somewhere here and this is pretty much it for this skin. Let's open up the web browser once again and let's install the last rain meter skin for this tutorial and this one is called Monterey Rain Meter. Here on the GitHub let's click on the releases here and now let's select this .rm skin file. And once you have the .rm skin file, let's click open and install it as you see here. I will go to the widgets and here I will select the clock. And here click continue. If you want, you can right click on the widget and then select here wide option. And I will place this one here near this first widget which we created. And now under the appearance, you can also change, for example, the theme of the widget. You can select, for example, the color here or the dark version, but I think that the blur one looks the best. Let's go to the widgets here and let's add a few more to the desktop. I will add notes. I will also add reminders and I will also add the calendar. Now let's move the calendar somewhere here. Let's move the reminders somewhere here and let's click continue on the notes widget and let's right click on the widgets and select here white. Now I will place notes down below reminders and the calendar widget and I think this is pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel would really mean a lot to me and of course all the required files for this tutorial are also linked in the description down below. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.